welcome to Super Dan Plays Synthetic Legion Uprising. Uh, so I should... <laughs> There's a lot of explaining to do on a weird game like this. Firstly, a friend of mine introduced me to this video via another video by... Uh, I can't pronounce his name. Seth. Just look for Seth and Synthetic and you'll figure it out, I think. Anyway, this is a uh, somewhat of an unusual game. It's kind of a roguelike first-person shooter with... Ignore that. There's... There, there, for some reason, the game devs decided there needed to be a chat, which is there in the title screen. Um, oh, wait. There we go. Exited it. X oh, well, okay. Clicking it twice. Clicking the X button when it's closed opens it. Anyway, I've not actually gotten very far into this game, and it's more of a one off episode, and this is just random, and I felt like doing it. Basically, it is a class based roguelike, as one would expect with various classes. I've, uh, played the sniper a few rounds. I've played, like, I tried every class once, died nearly instantly. This game is unforgiving, and then kind of took a liking to the sniper and played a few rounds and, uh, died to the first boss repeatedly. Uh, so yeah, uh, things have not gone super well, but it's an interesting game. It's a fun game. Every time you play as a certain class, you gain experience towards that class, and it, like, makes that class stronger. Uh, like, I get penetration damage, and my weapons have better range, because level 7 sniper. Uh, you can... One thing that is unique about this game compared to a lot of roguelikes I see is that your starting equipment is customizable. Like, I can pick from different weapons, I could spend some of my data un to unlock others, but I just have a liking to the basic one, because it's got higher accuracy, precision, and it's suppressed, which means enemies don't detect me as easily when I use it. Of course, when one of their friends spontaneously explodes, they tend to notice, but they don't always know where I was. Uh, the rogue has a targeting laser, so I can, uh, you know, you can't change that one. This item is locked. You cannot change that one. Let's me right click to have a uh, laser pointer. The enemies don't notice, thankfully. I don't think they notice it. That may be why they keep noticing me. Uh, the power bolt is an item I like, a custom heavy power bolt. Basically, every so many seconds, I can uh, fire a special bolt shot. Uh, laser mines, because they're very nice for defending me when I get backed into a corner, and I've taken a liking to the backstab module. The default one is Headhunter. These other ones I've unlocked. Uh, headshots have a 50% chance of refunding a bullet and to refresh 10% of your shield. Um, damage over 300 doubles the effect, so basically guarantees it. Uh, but I have a... Why does that one have a symbol on it? I don't know. I have a liking to backstab. Basically, when I stay out of combat, uh, my next shot does bonus damage. And if my shot one-shots the person, I remain out of combat. So <laughs> that's slightly, uh, slightly useful for me. You can have a second module if you want, but I've just left it at the default random because it, uh, means that all found modules within the game have extra power and you generally find one so hmm. i mean i think that one guarantees that you will find one you'll find at least one you can find more but using the random guarantees you'll find at least one long story short big business robots ai uh ai turned against people apocalypse you play as an android uh, of one of whatever class you have chosen and uh you gotta make your way through it as per pretty standard roguelike procedures. Also, there's a nice little uh, pixely map and I appreciate that. I kind of want to fill it all out, but I won't. Uh, symbol to the right means I have a dash. That's uh, that's how you keep track of your dash. I just found that out yesterday after playing this game for longer than I should. Uh, your accuracy is bad when moving. So yeah, the game wants you to hold still when shooting. The size of the circle is your accuracy. Because I'm using a high accuracy weapon, you know, it's not as bad, but you see, like when I rotate, how bad that circle gets. Uh, one unique thing about this game is it uses quote unquote realistic reloading, meaning if you reload with 11 bullets in the magazine, well, I just threw 11 bullets away. Because in real life, when you reload a clip-based weapon, you don't just uh, open it and uh, insert one bullet and then load it back up. I don't know whether shotguns that work that way are in this game, because realistically there are some shotguns that you load one one cartridge at a time, so your mileage may vary. I don't know. Uh, there's also something known as active reload, and I actually should have... Uh, yes. Main menu. 
Oof. Well, there's the death animation. Ah, I forgot something. Uh, as you get items, you unlock them and you they show up here. Uh, you can tell the game if it's an item you want to drop more often. You can set up to four weapons that way. Uh, four weapons you want less often. And weapons you want to give a little bit of extra power to, which I've used one of my tokens on my current starting weapon. Same for that. Then there's research that you unlock. This is what I came out here for. The uh, This is the basic difficulty setting that I found it on when I started the game. Like, you can do this. It affects your XP rate, basically. Uh... Huh. Grants better loot. I don't know. They, I, I hadn't really looked at these. These are the ones I've left. Manual ejection is the thing that I was talking about. Basically, uh, that you have to eject the weapon and then reload the weapon instead of just reloading like in normal shooters. Uh, jamming is your weapons have a chance to jam, flinch. When you take damage, your accuracy... When you take health damage, your accuracy suffers and you're slowed for a moment. Uh, you do have shields. You know, basic Halo shield style. Uh, but then you can add a bunch of other uh, things on there. I like some of these. Like, Fragile is a neat concept. Every time you take health damage, you lose 5% of the amount taken. So if you take 100 health damage, you lose 5 of your max health. Uh, medical grades and ball skills restore some of your max health. So, you know, it's neat. But the higher the percentage, the faster the enemy's reaction times and some other background things become. So I put it back to basic default and left it be i like scorching because i've never as a sniper my weapons never overheat because if you're rapid firing as a sniper you might be not sniping or you're just to have really outstanding aim i don't know anyway and then fragile i liked uh critical's neat too you can give enemies a 10 percent crit chance but yeah should have gone over that before we started i like the uh intro screen and all oh hi enemy Another thing I have is my little uh, my little drone will target an enemy every so often, and if I kill the targeted enemy within 10 seconds, I get 30 gold. Boink. Uh, he dead. These guys are annoying because they don't have a headshot. You can headshot things, by the way. Uh, you know, sniper and all. Just gonna... Just gonna sneak over. Oh, he didn't die. Nobody saw that. I like, oh, I don't like that thing. No. Why, why are you here? My uh, power bolt will also penetrate, so if I can line up multiple enemies here. There we go, got rid of both of them. Now the other one's hunting for whatever it is that killed his uh, allies, so I'm just gonna sneak over here. I like the sneaky play style, it suits me. There is an assassin class that can stealth and all too, but. That guy has a shield, so whatever direction he's facing, he'll take a lot of reduced damage, so it's best to do that. Thank you, little drone. I like the drone, but at other times I don't like the fact that he'll initiate combat for me. Not the best thing you want when you're trying to sneaky sneak around. Oh, why are there so many of you? Get back into a cluster. How dare you ungroup. Get, 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 get. Well, they died. And eject. And if you reload in the little purple spot that you saw on the bar, it uh, reloads quicker and you get the temporary boost. I don't know what killed you, but okay. Also, friendly fire is a thing. You can make enemies shoot each other. Doesn't happen super often, but it's great when you have an explosive wielding enemy that you can make shoot themselves. And he did. As long as that number stays there, it means that... Uh, you know, my damage bonus is still intact. It'll go up as long as I'm out of combat. If only I had stealth. That would be overpowered as all it could be, but then I could... Well, he died. I don't know what happened, but we gotta go this way. Th things happened. Things did not go to plan. That one doesn't... Something hit him. You die. Yes, I was moving while shooting, and you see how well my accuracy was doing. Okay, that's... I uh, haven't even used my uh, trip mines yet, either. Ooh, you're still there. There we go. I want that money. Anytime they get marked, if I kill them, I get that spotter money. 
When you're low on ammo, you'll get this little bar over here. It's, it's nice. A little bit of clutter, but it's nice. Oh, also you can change uh, ammo types. Uh, hang on. Press X to see your weapon. All the weapons in the game are randomly generated. There are specific weapons, but there are then a range of different prefixes and all that uh, affect the stats. Uh, green means it's boosted over its normal. Red means it's below its normal for some reason. Why, why is it? I don't know. I think that's what it means, at least. Uh, but yeah, you can switch between these two ammo types on this bullet. I have hypersonic ammo. Uh, leaves a visible trail, but a chance to deal bonus damage. Uh, suppressed weapons. Wait. Does not offer armor piercing. Ah, loses damage over distance. That's the... That's the problem with that one. Ooh, power token ammo. So that's what the power token does. Oh, I just got the power tokens yesterday, so I didn't know what it did. So yeah, plus 5% damage. That's neat. Anyway. And then uh, you can look down here to see what your items do. There's a, there's a lot of buttons in this game. Like, I can press that and pull up my... Huh. Yeah, terror level te te 170. Current class level raises the terror <laughs> level slightly. Basically, higher terror level, bigger enemy. Oh ha! <laughs> well, you died. I don't know how I feel about the drone. Like, it, it kind of interferes with the sniper fantasy of sneaking up on enemies when it just randomly one shots stuff. It does not do so later. It is doing so right now for some reason because it wants to show off for the camera. Normally it doesn't. And you died. Also, boxes and stuff are destructible. I picked a really bad hiding spot too because I'm You don't see me. Oh good, I'm out of combat already. <laughs> Sniper level. Uh, there is a little bar at the very bottom of the screen that will show you your level up progress. I forget it's there. I don't really pay a huge amount of attention. That means I'm sniper level eight. Uh, which uh, doesn't really do anything for me. Level 10 is where I'll get my next perk. At that point, if I kill an enemy with a headshot, they drop a laser mine at their feet. I don't know the logistics on how that works, but it sounds awesome. Each class has its own unique playstyle and perks. I just happen to uh, love the slow and methodical gameplay of sniping. A realistic sniping, I should say, not necessarily what people call sniping in uh, other games. A lot of shooters I have found consider sniping to be that fast-paced, fire-off-the-hip uh, kind of Insta scope, insta headshot nonsense. And while that can be fun for some people, I like the slow and methodical sniper myself. Make a target, follow the target, wait for that perfect moment, then fire. Also, let's see what this nail. I guess I know it fires nails, but I was just not prepared for that picture. No special effect. Uh, scatter shot. High burst damage, but suffer from lacking armor penetration. Uh, in order to change weapons, you have to eject a cartridge, so I would re recommend waiting until you've used up all the ammo in your clip before doing that. Uh, you can carry four weapons, I believe. Did I miss the... Oh, well. There's also a, uh, an item hidden in each floor. There, there it is, a bolt. There's my bolt. Still hadn't found all six bolts because I have not made it to sixth floor but I like to find it anyway. There's a bolt and a core in the level, and I may have picked up the core, I don't know. I don't wanna wander around here forever. Uh, you can destroy boxes. They have items in them sometimes. Wouldn't recommend blowing them up just for the sake of it because you're gonna be wasting a lot of ammo, but if they get destroyed in combat, you never know. They might drop something useful. One of them may have money in it. I guess if you have an unlimited usage thing like the, uh, one guy has a knife, I forgot which class, what the name is, but, uh, you know, if you've got an infinite, infinite usage thing, I'm like that. 
then hey 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 i was hidden thank you laser mines for you people rudeness still haven't figured out the recharge on those laser mines it says they have a 25 second cooldown but if i stand here for 25 seconds they don't cool down so i think it has something to do with killing enemies uh also find a core pick a core uh nah. well that's neat <gasps> hmm I don't know what that one does, so I'm gonna, I mean, I've, I've never had it before, so I'm gonna kick it. Oh dear. Okay, I did not want to initiate that fight yet, you little goober. Oh, um, laser mines for you. Well, that went well. If I could change one thing, I would take off the drone. Not a big fan of the Mr. Shooty drone keep starting fights. Also, here's an example of an enemy that fights using explosions that I can just stand next to. And he blows himself up. And I blew up the med crate. I didn't know you could blow up med crates. I didn't know you could blow up crates. So yeah, downside to that plan. But hey, that's how we learn. That's a thing. Gotcha! <laughs> Oh, I see you. I see you, friend. Well, you died. You saw me, but you died, and he dropped money. Oh, dear. Um. I wanted the money. I got greedy. I'm out of ammo. I missed the active reload. Ah, okay, you can jump right into my face. That works. Oh, look, a weapon crate. Make sure there's no enemies skulking around. Okay. I don't know what that weapon does. We're about to find out. It does that. Hello, item crate. Um, while I'm mentally absorbed, Maverick Dumbfire missiles, weapons have a chance. Magazine size adjusted chance to trigger a dumb fire missile. Dumb fire missile just means flies in a straight line, right? No, that missile changed directions. I don't know. Um, also, let's see what this does. I had a blip rate. 50% ejection speed, reload speed, no jamming. Iron weapons have penetration absorption speed to gain power, increase target armor, increase damage when you're in the finger. Um. Okay, let's try. I want to change ammo type. I want to change. Why, why are you not changing the ammo type? Do I not? Okay, I guess I can't. Huh. Oh. It's saying that's the type of weapon and then that's the only ammo type. Okay, never mind. I'm still learning how these things work. I thought that meant that one was selected, but maybe that's the level of the bullet. And that's just the type of bullet. Okay. Uh, I, I, I can understand that. I'm still... There is a lot in this game I'm still learning. I like this one. I'm kind of waiting for the day that I find a really good, like, sniper-style weapon. You also gain mastery of a weapon the more you use it. Um, as you can see, I've almost got one mastery point on that one. Wait, 540 out of 3,000. That does not math. Uh, but I don't know if it I think maybe that's what's affecting these stats is like my mastery but I don't know because I I just don't know it's weird it's game it is confused it is intended to confuse I could look it up but I choose not to why because I don't know 
Well, you two died. I like this weapon. I don't like that I keep wasting two bullets because I want to just fire one. I want a nice one-shot weapon. Well, he died. He did. He did. He did, too, and I didn't even fire a shot. Well, y'all. I was only aiming for one of you, but okay. He did. Oh. He did, too. Clunk. Hi. Ow, my shields are down and I took health damage. That makes me sad. Uh, have I not? Oh, there's a thing over there, apparently. Oh, I see you. You don't see me! Oh, a laser gun. Hey, 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 hey! You're not supposed to be able to see me. Well, that happened. That worked. I wasn't aiming for both of you, but I'll take it. I like this thing, This the penetrating bullets. Oh, that's right. This is what we were coming over here for. Yeah, they do different things. Uh, I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. I know what that does. I want that. Yes. Uh, triggers on weapon shots unleashes a soothing mist, healing for 5% max health, resetting recoil, and granting reduced cooldown for a duration. Uh, basically, Sniper doesn't have a lot of ways to get his health back. So this weapon, I, th sorry, this item I found yesterday is one of my favorites. Uh, every time I fire a shot, I have a chance to get healed. So it gives me a way to keep my health topped up. No, this is the exit. No, no, this is the entrance. Wait, the exit was over here? Huh, I walked past the exit. You can also choose different sectors. I just generally have gone with normal. I know high alert means harder. Probably means there's better items though. And then low alert probably is exactly what it says on the tin. Being an easy sector. They can see me behind here, I think. No, they can't. You don't know nothing. Shield down. Guy with a shield. Guy with a shield. Guy with a shield gonna die. Who are you shooting at, drone? Why did you bring more people into this? I didn't invite that thing. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, well, the, the, the not, not good things. You did. Okay. Sometimes you end up in a bigger fight than you intended to be. This is what this thing does. It sends laser drones that hurt. If you stand next to it, it'll hurt itself, but, you know, not enough to generally die before you do. Oh dear, I don't know what that is. It fires lasers. Well, this, this, this has not gone to plan. This has not gone to plan. Thank you, laser mines. There we go. Okay, and that's one reason I try to save my laser mines, because you, you can carry two stacks. For some reason, it says there's six stacks, but I've only carried two at a time. I don't, uh, don't quite get the logistics there. Yeah, those things have armor, and they hurt. They just want to get in melee range and smack into you repeatedly. Well, I am gonna switch back to, you know what? Die to a nail gun. Okay, back to the regular weapon for a bit. I am low on ammo for the uh, special gun and I'd rather not use it all up. I want that item. Okay, there we go. Item chest is saved. Flare gun. Okay, 
right click and you can drag stuff around, which is neat. But you can recycle? I thought only the engineer could recycle. Yeah, the engineer is basically the RNG class. He can either come turn out to be super weak or he can be the most overpowered thing of all destruction. I haven't personally seen this yet. I just know Seth mentioned it in his video. Oh my dear, what is that? Um, I, I, I am concerned by the glowing ball of sun. Why are y'all going the direction that doesn't lead you into my landmines? There we go. Okay, I don't know what killed you, but I want your money. No, that was ammo. Okay. Ow. Uh, I know where I'm at. Oh, the flare guns auto use. Neat. Didn't know that. That's one of the items I could choose to start with. I just haven't used it because I didn't necessarily think it was something hugely needed. Uh, if you're dealing with invisible enemies, though, the flare gun is your friend. Because it will make them visible and much easier to snipe. If you have a machine gun on... Well, that happened. If you have a machine gun, on the other hand, you can kind of spray and pray. But... la da da Hey. Anything interesting over here? ammo crate. I need that ammo crate, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up before... Oh, 35's the max you can hold? Well, that's... inconvenient. I guess I should go ahead and use you, then. Oh, that second shot's my power bolt. Ah, I should've known. Hey, 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 hey. You're off screen, you can't see me. Well, y'all did. Oh, hi. I didn't know about you, you're dead too. Like, what is that? Flare, oh, flare. Neat. Boink. Ah, the joy of one-shotting things. Point, point. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with it. Ooh, what's this? Upgrade item. You kinda wanna do this. Uh, if you have the money, it's great. It, it, it enhances an item. 100% is their b base power. I kinda wanna use it on that, but I could... Use it on that too. Uh, I don't know. I could use it on that and boost up the health. Or I could save my money because that's also an option. You can lower the cooldown on that and make a critical strike better, but. Hmm. Uh, upgrade the power bolt. I say yes. There we go. It's too expensive. Upgrade the tsunami thing. Okay. That was a good use of money. I'm gonna keep telling myself that was a good use of money. Because if it wasn't, then I just doomed us all. So it obviously was. Oh, hi. You did. Ah, I didn't ask for y'all. Ah. What was that? Ooh, an upgrade kit, finally. I really want to upgrade this thing. I really want to upgrade this thing. We're going to upgrade this thing. You get to add a perk to it. Actively reloading, bare bone allocator. Well, that's neat, but I mean, I would hope not to be in that situation. Actively reloading grants a varied temporary buff. Uh, increases damage to turrets and props by 25. You know what? Does the first boss count as a prop? I mean, he's kind of a turret on legs, ain't he? 
Shh, spoilers. Uh, let's go with that. Anti-healing and environment weapon. And I'm gonna switch back to my, my basic. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go this way. There was nothing to- ooh, hi. You died! Don't mind the glowing flare. There's nothing here. You didn't see anything. <laughs> and you still didn't see anything. Thank you for looking the other way. Non-metaphorically. Hey, somebody shot at me. Oh, it's you. Ah, they summon them things. I threw a bullet away, I know, but I only had one bullet. Hmm. Did I really wipe out all the enemies without even wandering through most of this? Yeah, well, we found that. I can afford upgrades. You know what? We're gonna do it. I increased the trigger chance without decreasing the cooldown. Well, that's nice. Where'd the exit again? I'm down here? Okay. Oh. Okay. Get a sneeze. Not a good time. <laughs> Mid teleportation sneeze. Oh, yep. Here's the boss. We're gonna die. Can I change weapon, please? I stand corrected. Maybe he gonna die. That, well. Hello, missiles. Hey! This is only the second time I've ever beaten the ball. Also, be careful. Enemies will still be spawning. Upgrade kit. Let's upgrade this thing again. Vital data collector. Ooh. Ooh. Muzzle compensator. Well, that makes my weapon less accurate. So, no. I like that vital data collector. I've never seen that. Wait, is there something else? Money! That little, uh, little secondary drone thing seems to go to drops and glow when he finds them so that's neat also those spikes hurt but there's money never mind that was ammo i thought it was money may as well loot the ammo crate i don't know why we oh that's right Ooh, weapon crate maybe i shouldn't have upgraded it until i found out what the new weapon was also barbed wire doesn't hurt you but it slows you down it also slows enemies and bosses down. well at least that boss down See, I've got... Maybe it is only three weapons. Maybe. What are you? I don't know what you are, but you look fancy. Huh. Passive bonus when held. I like this gun. Okay, it's... because I'm standing here shooting a wall. Is that the most threatening thing I could do to the machines? Oh. Stay. Stay. Ooh, I don't know I can look at stuff. Huh. Neat. Ah, well. I still don't know what I did to make the terror level go up, so that's a worrying thing. Mr. Stealth, you die. Oh, I don't know what you are. I don't know what you are. I don't approve of whatever you are. Ow! 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 Is death. That is death. That is a don't... Oh, hey, Stealth. Uh, what is Headhunters and why is they dispatched? Yes! 
<laughs> it's an item I found on my first run. It's a very nice item. It means instant death for whoever wanders near me. Uh, basically, first thing to wander near me every 28 seconds will get zapped with a 1275 damage lightning bolt. Oh no, 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 no. Those things die. If that thing sees you, it will run away screeching and then summon Chrono Troopers, which I am convinced are still the Chrono Troopers from uh, Command and Conquer. Basically, they don't care where you at, they're gonna teleport to you and then shoot you in the face. And if you shoot them, they're gonna teleport away and shoot you from elsewhere. They don't care about anything, except your are ooh, that's a, that chest has a question mark on it and I don't know what that means. At least my flare will reveal the snakers. Well, I don't know where that second mine went. Um, hi. Can y'all not? I don't know what I picked up. Fire rate. Uh, why do you have a red health button? Why are you in my face? That's the real question. What did I pick up? I don't know. I want the loot. Leave me alone. Plating. Oh, look, I have armor. Uh, wait. Eh. No? Do I not? Then what is this? Well, you won't tell me what it is. Okay, then. I got two little white doodads. You died. Ah, and you're stealthed. You died, too. Ain't having none of that. I don't know what that is. I don't trust that, though. That's a stealth. Hmm. And, well, there was a screecher spider. Hey, uh, okay, so you're, uh, you're a missile battery that can only fire two. Can you not? I'm glad this big concrete thing is here. Oh, no. Oh, well, that ain't good for my health and safety. Um, we're going to have to go the long way around. Those three drones floating around him is a repair drone, and that means there's a repair drone on over here, there. There he is, yeah. I don't know what you are and why you have what looks like a repair drone, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot that first. Okay, that thing's dead. He's dead too. He dead too. Oh, let's try our new thing. He dead too. That was the one repairing thing. Hey, 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 I'm trying to look at my max health here. Why, why, why no number? Okay, so this weapon I like. This weapon, it's nice, but it's a little rapid fire for my liking. And, uh, you know, as per usual, I love this weapon. And you did. Oh, that's the exit. Well, I'm not looking for the exit yet. Also, there's Roombas everywhere, and they are friendly, and I'm fascinated by their existence. Ow! Well, there went my armor things. Thank you, machine gun turret that I didn't know existed. Hi! <laughs> Thank you, little friendly sniper drone, for doing that. Thank you, lightning bolt. Stealth has nothing on lightning. Gotcha. Thank you, Headhunter. Bonus damage for unawares. Out of combat, unaware, or the same difference. But done used that. And I've been doing a very bad job at finding bolts. Like, once you clear a level, you really need to sweep it to find them bolts. 
Supposedly something happens if you get all six, but I don't remember what. I mean, they're not, it's not even that hard to find them. It's just a little time consuming. You just sweep over the area slowly. Spread your focus over the screen. And watch, I'm going to be proven wrong and never find this one. Or I already found it and just don't know it. I mean, that is a possibility. That is a distinct possibility. Hmm. They're good at hiding them. Okay, moving on. I'm not going to get all six of them anyway. I assume it unlocks something permanently once I get the six bolts. Because that would make sense following basic roguelike logic. Let's just carry this and see how far it goes. I kind of planned on dying at the first boss, but things didn't go to play. Oh, hi. You should not be right there at my spawning site. Well, I'm out of ammo. Okay, now we got ammo. Let's go back to using this. We got... Oh, ammo regeneration. I see. Ooh, I don't recognize anything in this map. And everything's dark, and this fascinates me. It's different. Hi. Hi. The enemies are like, whoa, where'd he go? Why is there this huge oil spill on the ground? I don't... <laughs> oh, I see. He's giving people shield. Too bad he didn't have enough to... Ooh, an ammo crate. Oh, dear. Let's not. Shouldn't do that while running. There we go. Well, I'm out of ammo. And he did. Yay, plus 25 max health. I like that. That's a fascinating concept. It's also horrifying to give that to a sniper. Yay, the more people I headshot, the more max health I get. Too bad there's a limit. Oh dear. That's why it's not safe to try to fight people as a sniper when they know where you're at. Come here. Why do you have so much health? Not anymore. Also, bolts are going to be very hard to find in the dark. Oh, why is your health bar red? I mean, why do you have skull? Okay, well, you're dead anyway, so... I don't know, but he dropped a thing. So is that how, that's how I get armor plating, okay. Oh, hi. Sniper drone, you, you are very much not helpful. I mean, you are when we're in the middle of a fight, but you, it should just not fire until I initiate. That should be the rule. Also bolt. That needs to be the rule. It just cannot fire until I fire first. See you, Mr. Stell. Ooh, a core. That's a core. So yeah, there was four of them. Oops. He did. I love that big red head shot sh shape that tells me I headshot. Well, the yellow one means it was just a regular headshot, I guess. I think one means it was a critical headshot. Also. Yeah. More lightning. If only I knew I was going to get that, I could have saved it for the lightning to get the hell I'm out. He did. I think he had a weapon like mine.
Well, that's everything in here. This, I don't know where we're going, but we're going. I don't know where we landed. Time's chest. No, that is a trap and you know it. Time's chests are an attempt to get you to kill yourself by rushing in headlong into a bunch of enemies. I learned this the hard way. Aha, I found the timed chest. I'm gonna recommend... Ow. That worked. I love the... Uh, the faster reload to recharge time on that lightning bolt. Okay. Taco. The taco. Armor piercing, nice. I kind of like my uh, health regeneration though, so I'm gonna keep that. I see you. Do you see me? No, you don't, because I'm a sniper. Oh, what? What is that? Why? Yee, that's a truck. That is a truck, and it is spitting spiders at me. Ay, 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 things have taken a horrible turn. That guy's got a red skull. I'm dropping mines like there's no tomorrow. I love he my health regen though. It's saving me so much trouble. I'ma die. Can we not? Oh dear. Why am I stunned? Why am I stunned? Okay, I don't know what happened. There was death and destruction and lots of spiders. I wouldn't have recommended sh taking that shot, little drone, because I had not used my... Oh, there's so many spiders. I don't know what the spiders do, but they run at me and I assume they want to claw me up like the uh, little spider bots in Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. Excellent ways to destroy vehicles, but they would also maul uh, infantry units. Why are there so many of you? No! I'm gonna run out of ammo at some point. I need to be careful. Oh, look, ammo. Okay, I think that truck is just gonna keep spawning them. So getting rid of the truck is a good idea. Oh, what are you and how did you get it? I can do that too! Okay. Calm. Calm. I don't know how that went so sideways so fast. I don't know how I survived either. I don't need to know. I just. Oh, you're still here. Good. You're dead. You dropped off. Okay, three times experience credits boost for 15 seconds. Whoa. Gonna go on a rampage for 15 seconds. That's what that means. Okay, that's over. Ooh. No more of that out of you. You have a shotgun. I don't approve of your shotgun, sir. Let's not do that. Accept quest. Um, sure. Point of interest. I'm already at the point of interest. Eliminate 
target. Okay, what did I get? Ooh. Oh. I go with armor. Didn't know I could has armor. Yay. I has armor because a sniper needed health regen and armor. Ooh, and plating. And that. Let's upgrade this again. Backup printer. Hmm. Ooh, also another plate. And more ammo. I'm gonna go with that. Backup printer sounds nice, but... Okay, so you can hold four attachments. If you use an upgrade kit past four attachments, you just get a bunch of stat buffs. So it's still useful, like if you have a weapon you like, to just keep pouring all the upgrade. Why? Oh, I can only hold two of those? Well, that's sad. I was really looking forward to having just an obscene amount of them. Oh, you're still alive. Nope, never mind, you're not. Hey, you, you, you were dead the whole time and you just didn't know it. Uh, I'm gonna go upgrade to lightning. Can I upgrade it again? No, I cannot. I can't upgrade you, though. Yay! Why not? Let's go ahead and upgrade it. 13 seconds. Every 13 seconds, my next shot. Uh, wait a second. I know I heard targety sounds. Somebody is still alive here. Is there an item drop over here I need to know? Oh, thank you. When I was standing here, I kept hearing that doo-doo. Like it was targeting something. I guess it wasn't. Just my imagination. Uh, do what now? Um. so many of you. I'm a sniper. I can't handle large amounts of enemies. Oh, money. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Look, another upgrade kit. Two. Titanium rifling. Reload vent. Hyper accelerator. Ooh, bullet penetration. I think it already had that, but oops. I'm just kind of running purely off panic. Oh, okay, those are bad. Those turrets are bad. I got a module core though, but those are bad. Oink. Mission aborted, no mission deaded. I got data. I don't know what all is happening, but I like this weapon. This is going to be one of those weapons that I put a thing on that says I want. Oh, neat. It lifts off the things I have.
Okay, it's not the spotter drone, it's the whatever it is that's shooting. Ah, so yeah, since I leveled up, I can unlock a new module. Whatever power tuning does, and whatever... Yeah, I think I just had that one. Let's see, power tuning, headshot damage... Ooh. Running ammo regeneration. That's nice. But I kind of like my backstab for the, uh, you know, double damage. Which is very useful. Uh, ooh, new research is ready. Explosive research. Rocket launchers can be... Ooh. Variant kits. Aww. I really wanted them all. Relic and prototype. I don't have enough for that. Still don't know what this 1105 is. Oh, that's a clock. Fair enough. How do I see what what research I have though? Ah, well. Uh let's see. What's the what was that? Was that the thing I had? No. It's not super good at telling you which one. There's a bunch of these that say that I've found them that I've never found before. Like, they they just came that way when I got the game, and that was weird to me. I, oh, I can't set that to... I can give it a power token. So that's why it was so good. It was a rare weapon. Oh, well. Uh, research we've done... Never found that, but it seems like a neat item. And again, it says I found it ten times. It, I don't know why. See, this is where I used one to make the fast lane not occur as much. Uh, let's see. Because uh, I don't switch weapons very often. and when it, Well, I, I don't like the idea of losing the ability to switch weapons after switching weapons. Meanwhile, the unstable current, I like. I don't think using... Oh, increased item power grants a small chance of getting double. That's right. I don't remember why I used it on that. Uh, that I like for the healing. See, I don't know if putting a thing on module core... Oh, now I remember. That's why I'm seeing three module cores, because normally when I find a core, it only gives me a choice between two. Madness button is madness. It raises your terror level for no other reason. Basically, uh, gives you a way to get more money and such. Not necessarily a bad item, just a uh, a dangerous item. Uh, magic magazine. I had once. I did find that one. See, I've never found the madness button. I just know what it does, but it says I found it ten times. I know what it does because there was a clip in the Seth video where he's like, I pushed the button, terror level goes up. He's like, what did you get in return? Nothing! You uh, get in return the chance at killing a bunch of enemies and getting stuff. That's what you get. Intensity chamber. I mean, that's not actually a... I don't know. Yeah, I'll take that off. That's not actually a bad item. Found the shuriken once, that was pretty neat. You throw it at a wall, it bounces and multiplies. But anyway, it's a very interesting game. This episode was a lot longer than I intended or anticipated because I usually don't get past the first boss, but it was fun. It's very random. There's a bunch of different classes. Uh, you know, I don't really know how to sum them up. I've only really played this sniper with any like relative. Like I've played, I haven't played the heavy gunner. Huh. Fair enough. I haven't played the Assassin. I haven't played either of those. I really thought I'd tried everything. Anyway, again, interesting game. Uh, it starts out really hard. I mean, it'll keep getting harder, but it will get better as you, like, level up and actually get your abilities upgraded and get more stuff. Onslaught system. Grant strong ammo regeneration, highly reduced recoil. Oh, I see. So you're the heavy. Makes sense, heavy gunner. Oh, so they're each... So there's two specialist classes, two commando, two rogue, and two guardian. I wondered why it said rogue instead of sniper. 
But yeah, it's a very interesting game. It is on Steam. Uh, it goes on a pretty decent sale. I got it for, I think, it was below $10. I think it was $7.50 or $8. It may have been $10. I know it was $10 or less. But it's again, it's an interesting game. There's a link in the description, as per usual, if you would like to look into it. I'm going to go ahead and pause here. This was mostly a one-off episode. Uh, you know, with possibility, but it's not going to be a running series. There's possible for other future videos on it, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, going to go ahead and pause here, like I said. I think I said. Thank you for watching. Thank you for trying to keep me sane. Whether or not it's working, only time will tell. And I will see you on the next game.